Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with a Latte Panda running Laka from a USB drive. Now we're not booted into Windows or anything. This is running directly from the USB. And uh, for the past two weeks, I've been trying to get this going. A dev from the Laka forums actually contacted me through my email. I, I didn't post anything. I guess he saw one of my Latte Panda videos on RetroArch. And he asked me to try out some builds. So for the past two weeks, we've been going back and forth. We finally came up with something that works. Now there are some bugs in this. Hopefully we can get this worked out. This video is mainly to show him that this is working and um, what's going on with the emulators. Now, if I start Nintendo 64, I'm gonna show you really quick. It's gonna cut out and then come right back to this menu. I'm just gonna start, let's say Super Smash Bros. Holy crap. Okay, guys, this is actually crazy because uh, I, I've been trying to get this to work and it hasn't worked. And it's working now that I made this freaking video. That's ridiculous. Okay, so yeah, but, but when it doesn't work, what it does is it reboots back into the Laka menu. That's crazy. Let's see how it performs here. So I have to have the sound off and the sound is kind of squirrely. The sound does work through HDMI with this build that I'm using. But... The sound in Super Smash Brothers is a little messed up. So yeah, I'm actually surprised that it's working right now because like I said, it wasn't working. I had tried several times and tons of different games. And I've tried this game several times, but uh, that's crazy that it works now. Whoa. And the performance is not bad at all. It's pretty good, actually. Let me get him out of here real quick, and then we'll try to go to the Yoshi stage. That's where ah, this emulator really struggles. Come on. I just want to headbutt you off of here. Get out of here, dude. Really? All right, so we should be pretty good. You can usually tell when the Yoshis start populating on screen there. At the start of this. Yep, a little slow. And I don't really want to exit it and turn anything down or change course because I'm afraid it won't restart. But I might have to. Alright, that's working. Let's just see, I'd have to stop, but we'll look at the settings here. We can turn the GFX accuracy down to low. And the plugin is set auto. I'm not sure, I think auto may be Glide64. I've had really good luck with Rice on most systems with Super Smash Brothers. Let's try it. All right, so we do have some bugs in the background. And that happens with rice sometimes. And we still got a little bit of slow emulation. It was worth a try. Back out of here. Now before this stops working on me, I'll just show you we have SNES works. So I love Laka, but lately I've been getting real frustrated with it on different systems. Now I have a Udo quad I cannot get it to boot I've been over at the forums and I've asked uh, two questions I think I have a total of like four posts over on the forums and I have gotten no help now I understand it's not their place it's my place to you know work out my own bugs but a little bit of help would have been nice so uh, yeah it's just frustrating there's just so much going on with Laka they had support so many systems it's hard for you know the guys over there to Work out all the bugs on every single system. That's what it boils down to. But when it works, it works very well. So I had the same trouble with PlayStation 1. That's why I didn't add any PlayStation 1 ROMs for this video. But uh, it might work now that N64 is working. But if I reboot the unit, I guarantee N64 won't work. And I'll probably reboot again, and then it'll work from there. It's just, it's a little odd what's going on here. I'm not really sure what it is. But you can see SNES is going to run perfect. We got Virtual Boy. 
and it runs flawlessly. We also have Genesis, and I'll go into here. We'll just run Altered Beast. Really. And if you watch my videos, you know this is one of my favorite games. I just, I don't know what it is about it. I guess it's, I just, you know, I grew up with the game. That's really what it is. But it is a good game. If you've never played it, go ahead and play it. It is awesome, especially with two players. You get two people on the screen at once. Really cool. Full speed Genesis emulation. We're about to power up. You lift bra? I think he does, man. And here's where the altered beast comes in. Back out of here. And we're going to try one more thing here. Now, even though N64 didn't work for me at first, it is working right now. PSP worked and it worked really well. We're going to go with Little Big Planet. That's the game I've tested right now. I will get into it and I will test more games. So I want to try to change the resolution. And I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we'll try it anyway. So it requires a restart. We'll restart, close, just to be sure. Looks a little cleaner. All right, guys, so it looks really good. And I completely understand that Little Big Planet does run really well on the PPSSPP emulator on a lot of hardware. This is a well optimized game, and that's why I wanted to try this one first. But even at this higher resolution, I mean, it looks great. I think we could go up a bit more on the resolution with this game. Now, other games are going to stress the emulator a lot more. God of War, uh, Monster Hunter, things like that. And I will be making more videos. I just, I would like to get a different build of this that does work. But for now, I'm very impressed with the performance. All right, so I wanted to skip to this next level because the first level isn't too intense. There's not a lot going on. We can really tell the performance here with this level. And it seems to be running pretty good. If we down the resolution, we could get definite full speed emulation out of this game at least. And seeing the way it runs here, we might have good luck with a lot of the easier games for PSP. I seriously doubt God of War Chains of Olympus is going to run. That has a hard time on even heavy duty equipment, heavy duty hardware. But I'm surprised with the performance of this little Latte Panda with this Laka build. Now when I got this board, I was the first thing I thought of was running Laka on it. That was one of my original plans. That and Linux. I have the 2 gigabyte version of the board. All right, let's get out of here. And here comes the slowdown. This is what I was talking about. There we go. Even if I... The whole system has slowed to a crawl. So if you're out there, let me know what's going on and let me know how I can fix this because... This doesn't happen all the time. I ran this for about an hour and a half yesterday with no slowdown. I then rebooted it this morning to play a few games and after 10 minutes, it did the same exact thing. So I have to unplug the unit and when I unplug the unit, everything here is gonna be missing. So I'm glad this happened in this video. So I'll be working on this a little more Hopefully I can get some help from one of the devs over at the Laka forum to see what's going on with the slowness in the menu here and N64 not running all the time. So I really don't know what's going on. Just wanted to show you guys this early build. If you could hit that like button and subscribe.
And like always, thanks for watching.